Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. Now in today's video, we are breaking down and talking about Disney. We're going to be breaking down this stock and talk about everything you must know about this company. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, new to the team, we talk about everything money, stocks, money management, trading, investing. So subscribe, join the team. So let's just jump in into this one. So I think we all know what Disney is. Disney is literally the media giant as well as we may know them from their theme parks like Disney World and Disneyland. But with that being said, a lot of people don't realize that Disney in the past quarter, they actually lost billions of dollars. They lost money on their box offices. They lost money in the theme parks. So the first thing that I want to cover is actually what they're planning on doing. Looking at the fundamentals, so like the revenue, the cash flow, the profit margin, you guys will see they've increased revenue, but they've also decreased profit margin. For every $100 Disney brings in, they lose about $2. Now, a company cannot grow and survive if that's how they make money and that's how they do it forever. So the new CEO came in and pretty much said that they're going to be cutting expenses. And what they've done is they've actually increased a couple of things in the theme parks, like parking, and they've increased the annual passes, which is going to be an easy way where Disney can become profitable once again. Another thing that they are doing is they're actually cutting back on movies and TV shows. I think we all know, you know, like two years ago, Disney was pumping out TV shows and movies and honestly, they weren't even very good. And it showed in the box office, they lost billions of dollars because nobody wanted to go to the movies. Nobody went to the movies because their movies were okay and there was nothing special. So Disney is going to be cutting back on those. But another great thing that Disney announced is a $60 billion investment into their parks and cruise lines. This is going to be a great way where it's going to incentivize a lot of their customers to continue to come back and go to their theme parks, do cruises, because if they're constantly updating and being different, they're always going to be one step ahead of the competition, which is like Universal Studios and SeaWorld. Another great thing that I absolutely love about Disney stock is if we look at the chart. Looking at the chart here, you guys will see that we've seen great growth. It has a beautiful upward trend, but you may notice that we've seen a little bit of some sell-off. Now, if you guys see this moving average line, which is that 90-day moving average line, it hit it once before and we got buying pressure. Now, I do think we'll see it hit it again and we could be buying it at a very, very undervalued point for Disney stock where the stock could move up in value. Looking at it as more of a swing trade possibility where you buy and hold it for a couple of weeks, maybe a month or to and then you sell it. This could be an easy way where you buy low and sell high when it comes to Disney. Now the last thing that I do want to cover is actually Disney's debt because a lot of you may not even realize Disney has quite a bit of debt. They have about $44 billion in debt and they only have about $11 billion in cash which isn't very good. The reason why is if Disney ever goes through a hard time or they need to pay back that debt, they only have $11 billion in cash to pay that. So with that being said, this dilutes the company and honestly, it makes it just more of a riskier investment rather than if they had more cash on hand and less debt. So for me, answering that main question of should you invest into Disney, I'm a huge Disney guy, but when it comes to investing into it, I think it's always smart to understand their future goals. And I do think Disney represents right now a good opportunity to try to invest into a growth stock that pretty much is an American icon at a very, very affordable price. They've already have a plan to decrease their expenses where they can become profitable once again. And with a $60 billion investment into the parks and cruise lines is going to be more of a way where we could possibly see increasing revenues for the upcoming future. But like always, Disney is risky. And I do think for me, I'm keeping it under 5% of my portfolio. So for every $100 I have invested into other stocks, assets, ETFs, I don't mind investing five bucks into Disney for every hundred I have invested. For me, that's a great way to get shares to make money but if it goes to zero, I'm only out 5%. But I think we all know Disney is a media giant. They own so much stuff. They own Marvel, Lucasfilms, ESPN, National Geographic, and a variety of other companies like you guys can see on the screen. So Disney's not going anywhere anytime soon. And in my opinion, <sighs> I'm buying a little bit. Well, guys, this is obviously just my opinion, so do your own research before you guys invest, but we'll see you guys later. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Take care.